Welcome, Adrons. So in today's tutorial, I'm actually going to be doing the first look in my Fortnite series. I should have a vlog up explaining changes in my channel as well as the series in general. So I will link that video down below. And if it's not up for some odd reason or if I just didn't post it or whatever, I'll let you know that I'm doing a Fortnite series right now. I'm going to be doing different characters, whether it be body paints or well, primarily body paints or maybe some cosplay things or maybe some just fan art. I don't know. I'm just going to stick to Fortnite right now and do a whole Fortnite series. I have some things planned out and ready for that. So anyways, this is going to be the first video, and the first video is going to actually be the Valentine's Day teddy bear skin that I'm going to be painting today. Now this skin is very, very creepy and cute all at the same time. It's very derpy. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it if you haven't played Fortnite. I play Fortnite. And if you want to know, I play Fortnite on Xbox One. Everybody always asks that. That is beside the point. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so the first step is zooming in and taking a drink of coffee. Next, I'm taking the white eyeliner pencil that I always use to map out the shape of the bare face as well as the eyes and the hairs on top of the head and the nose and everything else that goes along with the features of this bear character such as the nostril. Once that's set up, I'm taking my Mehron paints in light pink and hot pink and mixing them together to get this pink color to go all around the face, leaving the nostril area, eyes, and mouth area clear of any product. Now I'm taking white body paint from Mehron and filling in the muzzle section. And also going around kind of like the lip area. Now I'm taking black body paint from Mehron and filling in the heart shaped nose and this was actually really hard for me to do. I um, spent a lot of time just trying to make the heart look like a heart. Once it looks pretty good for me, after spending like 20 hours on it, I'm taking a red body paint from Mehron and filling in the mouth section. The mouth section of this bear is actually completely open, so there you go. And then taking some black eyeshadow from Urban Decay called Blackout, I'm using that to shadow around the nostril, around the mouth area, kind of deepening up the mouth section in general, as well as starting to shade around the muzzle itself to give it more definition. Once I've kind of worked out that a little bit, I took some pink colors from my Bring Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics and it's like a dark and bright pink colors and kind of mixed them together to get a deeper pink than the body paint to make some more shadows. And then I'm also taking some more black and deepening up the shadow that's under the muzzle leading to the lip. Once that looks pretty good, I'm taking a little bit of gray eyeshadow from my Revlon, who's from Halloween. I don't know what the palette's called now, but it's Revlon. Any gray eyeshadow will do, and I'm using that to just kind of shadow around the nose to give us some more detail and texture. Next, I'm taking some more white body paint from Mehron and filling in the eyes. And the eyes are very far apart and very derpy looking, so that's what I'm doing. My eyes themselves aren't very hidden in this look, and that's just how it's gonna be. I couldn't hide them anymore. Next, I'm taking a light lavender purple color from Mehron and filling in one eye and then taking a light pink from Mehron and filling in the other. And again, the eyes themselves, they're kind of facing different directions, so I did not make them perfectly aligned with each other. And then on the purple section, I'm actually taking a little bit of purple eyeshadow because the purple was a little too light and I'm going to be deepening up the colors. I'm using my purple from the BH Cosmetics set. Then taking a black body paint, I'm adding the pupils. Once that's in, I'm taking a little bit of white body paint on a detailed brush and just adding some shine into the eyes. And then I'm going to add some really high shine with a white liquid liner from NYX. Next, I'm going to take some more of those pink eyeshadows I used before and kind of shadow around the eyes to add some more depth. And then to deepen it up a little bit more, I'm taking some black eyeshadow and very lightly dusting it off to give a very little amount on the brush. And then I'm going to dust that underneath the eyes to deepen up just a little bit more. Once that looks good, I'm actually going to be adding the rip onto the fur with some white body paint. And then taking some more light pink body paint, I'm going to add some fur texture around the whole face and I'm making sure it looks messy and ruffled and not very clean. Then getting some black body paint, I'm going to black out the rest of my face because I don't need it. And I'm also going to be going down my neck because this is a costume and the neck part of the costume is just black. Then taking the same pink mixture of body paint I had before, I'm filling in the rest of my body, leaving my chest, like a circle on my chest, clear, and filling it in white. Then I'm taking some white body paint and going around the collar of the costume itself, and then using that same white, I'm going to be adding texture into the neck section because there's some, like, mesh texture in it. I also painted my hands purple, but you can't really see that. And then I'm going to take some more of that light pink and add some more fur texture around the whole body as well as touching up the face here and there, and I'm also going to dip into some white body paint and add some more fur texture, and I made sure to keep them nice and messy looking like I said before. After that, I am completely done with the look, and yeah, it was pretty easy, pretty fun. 
fun and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know what other type of Fortnite characters you'd like to see before the series is done. But this is the first one and the second one should be out soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me any other ideas on art related projects and I shall see you guys next time.